Welcome to Castle Blood. Uh, Castle Blood actually started as a party. It started as a Halloween party for uh, my wife at the time and I, and our costume making friends. Uh, we had professional clown friends and uh, magician friends as well. Um, so we had a party here, everybody dressed up, and we handed out trick or treat. We used to do it for an hour or two a year, and that was it. And then we'd go out to bars like the whole rest of the world does. Um, but because we were professional prop makers and costumers, things were a little more extreme than that. Um, so the decorations outside got a little more extreme, and then we built the porch on the house, and then we put a graveyard in the backyard, and, you know, things just kind of ran amok from there. But yeah, like most of the castle cast members here, there are actually some backstories to the characters just so they understand how they should be performing and, and how it all blends together cohesively. Right now, the attire that I'm wearing is Ashley Morpheus. He's a professor. He's a time bandit. Within the walls of the castle, there are many creatures of large and small. So it's kind of a little bit of a new thing for me here with this character. Uh, the other Morpheus actually has long white hair and is more of a uh, medieval uh, vampire knight. I'm entrusting you with this small creature. You will take it on your journey tonight, do you understand? Do not lose it, do not allow it to escape. Or if you do, if you fail, this creature will grow to enormous size and strength and cause great destruction. Okay, this character that I'm currently wearing um, is Luna and she's a vampire. She's actually my third character here at the castle. She's not one of my main characters. Um, she's my paradable character and the character for the kids' matinee. I actually play a witch character, which is fun, but sometimes a little too intense for the little kids. Oh, mortals! Well, mortals, you've come to a dangerous place, hmm? Well, I'm sorry to say our guide has brought you here, and now you have to make a bargain with me, hmm? So I have four characters. So I have Autumn, <laughs> and I have Boo Cat. And I have Luna, which I'm currently wearing, which is a vampire. And I have my knight character, which is Hexabart, which is my witch character. Watch a step! <laughs> the thing that's always bothered me is haunting is so rough and so adult. Um, and as much as we like scaring people, I thought the kids were left out. Well, the reason why we focus on the kids for the, for the matinee and having them come in at this time is something, I think, in a unique way because now they get a chance to grow up with us. They start out very small, they come in, they check out the castle, they take the tour, and then later on, as they grow older, they're ready to come do the night tour. Welcome to the Castle Blood Cemetery. Now you see, this is where we bring our recently deceased family members and we place them within the grounds or in the walls or wherever you can cram a family member. Well, a lot of the people here are customers, like I say, and they go to science fiction conventions quite often. And between everybody here, there's major, major national kind of awards for their costuming. Um, the International Costumers Guild, we've actually had off and on, we've had five different of their Lifetime Achievement Award winners be here as actors. So that's part of the reason it's such an opulent looking attraction. I have very, very skilled and talented friends. It is said that if a thief at heart holds a kraken's claw, it's equivalent to digesting poison. Are any of you brave enough to hold the Kraken's Claw? A um, number of years back, I started bringing my two daughters with me, and now we travel when we can, when we can afford it, and come out and visit with our castle family, which means the world to us. Um, it's a wonderful event to be part of. It gives a lot of young people an acting background that they might not normally get. It gives people that feeling of bonding that you might only get um, say marching band, drama club in high school, things of that nature, you get that same core feeling. Once a family, always a family. I think the castle is so wonderful and I think it's great. Everyone volunteers here. No one gets paid. We all come and we do it out of the goodness of our heart and out of the love of Halloween and love of performing. Um, everyone gets to use their talents if they're singers, if they're you know, retail people even. There's a place in the castle for everyone. So. It's great that we all volunteer. It's a very cool thing. Halloween, I think, goes across a very broad band. It, you know, not only is it fun for the kids, you get to dress up, you get to get candy. Well, you know, who doesn't like candy? Um, and it's something that you carry on to your children. You enjoyed it, your children are gonna enjoy it. 
um, watching the neighborhoods come together, trick-or-treating, that's huge. To me, you know a good neighborhood by the trick-or-treating. People don't go driving through Halloween night. Um, they pretty much stop traffic and let the kids have the run of the streets. Families are actually out in their front lawns, fire pits going, cooking s'mores, things of that nature. Um, it's just, it's one of our family holidays and that's how we look at it, you know, the same as Christmas or anything else. It's a time for family to get together and enjoy. Vampires only want you for your blood, but Vampires only want you for your blood. And no matter how you cry, they'll drink you till you're dry. Vampires only want you for your blood. And werewolves only want to gnaw your bones, Jones. Werewolves only want to gnaw your bones. You think that they're incredible, and they think that you're edible. Werewolves only want to gnaw your bones. And vampires only want you for your blood. Blood. Vampires only want you for your blood. And you know you'll never shake them, unless of course you snake them. Vampires only want you for your blood.